Riders and countries from around the world compete for bragging rights and more as to who the actual world championship belongs to. The answer to that question will be decided today here in Louisville. The cameras are out, the racers are getting into position, and the spectators are settling in for an annual event that gives them an opportunity to show the colors in support of their country. Hi again, everybody. I'm Paul Higgins, along with Craig Reynolds. And as always, Craig Reynolds doing double duty, not only as an announcer, but as a racer this weekend, racing for Team USA. you got to be stoked on that. You know, anytime you're a little patriotic for your country, you got to love it. It's great. Everyone's here. Everyone's together. And everyone's supportive. It's a great event. Walking into the arena, I can already feel there's a different flavor to this race. Can you tell me about that? People from all over the world here. We have everyone here. Their families, the amateur riders, everyone's here. Everyone's pumped up. So there's tons of support, and it's a great great race to say you're world champion you know you get to run the stripes you're the world champion you're the best guy that year and it's a good feeling to be the world champion the road to the world champion starts with the junior women the semi-final again these racers are not only racing for themselves today but their countries and out of the gate and the junior women michelle meandro and willie canice also battling shoulder to shoulder helena aubrey in there too so usa netherlands and france battling carly young in fourth position she's from the usa but michelle meandro our current leader this is a big track we are indoors here in louisville kentucky so michelle meandro with a commanding lead Willie Canise from the Netherlands in second place, trying to put a little bit of pressure on Michelle. But Michelle coming around the final turn, looks to be in great position to win this one. Coming down to the end of the track, Michelle Meandro. She is the winner in the junior women's semifinal. Willie Canise in second. Helena Aubrey finishes in third. We get set for the next semifinal in the junior women, including in this, Jamie Lilly. Jamie Lilly out of the gate. She's been practicing on the big jumps all morning long. She loves this track. She is our current leader. Stacy Patton in second place. Yana Horakova also battling. She's from the Czech Republic. But Jamie Lilly with a lead of her own. Lilly could very well prove that she is the best lady BMX racer in the world. That's her goal today. She has the lead over Stacy Patton. Yana Horakova from the Czech Republic is in third. But Jamie Lilly got the whole shot. She's coming around the last turn. And the real battle is for second position. Lilly finishes first, but look at Stacy Patton from the USA. She locks up second. Horakova finishes in third. I feel great. I got a, got a good gait that time, and I just tracked a little sketchy in places, so I just tried to pedal a lot and hold my line, and it worked out well. I have nothing to lose now. I'm not here for second place. For Jamie Lilly, the confidence is there. We'll be back with more of the NBL War of the Stars after this.